got our, we've got most of our cinema stuff done. Something we really thought about was that we need to block the light out of the window and also look like ootsy cutesy um, with our cinema. So, um, so we've just printed a file off a website called Canva. Taylor just designed it. It ends up being low res, but it looks all right. We'll give you guys a look. Um, but this is going to block out the light and also look cool as so that's the Rudolph cinema and um, We're just gonna stick that up there like that um, And like I said the window was an odd size and we didn't design the file for that So I've got an idea for that though. So anyway, we're just gonna double sided tape or something like that up there and we'll see how we For a kind of like cool entrance, a little bit of mood happening, we got these LED strip light things from Bunnings, battery powered. Um, well, they won't be on very often, but they're just going to. So they were ten dollars. Did I mention that? They were ten bucks from Bunnings, and we're just going to stick them all around here. Should look schmick. just finished working on our cinema room. It's a novelty cinema room that we spent under 500 bucks making and it was all from three places yet. Yep. Eldy, Bunnings, Kmart. Kmart. Oh, and Office Works and a few bits and bobs, but. Majority was from Kmart. And Irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we love it. Um, it's for you like hardcore dudes that watch movies and shit it's probably not your kind of thing it's more of a novelty thing because this is my workspace by day by night time it's time to watch Dexter mm -hmm. or something and um, or Vikings in the next month or so mm -hmm. so just a quick run through we already had the projector it's an Elephas brand it's like white with the stripes we got it from Amazon for $99 uh, while I was doing a review on it sometime last year, I got really pissed off because the connectivity wasn't as good as it claimed to be on the site. So it works for us with the cords and all that, but not what we're looking for. So this price, minus 99, which is really 
Out of $400, yeah? Yep. Anyway, what do we got? So we've got two stands for our stuff to stand on. That was about $100 from Kmart. Yep, that's, yeah, the stands with the, the timber and the black. The industrial black legs. Yeah, so that's our snack rack and our projector rack. How much were that? Uh, $100 for both. Yep. Like all that. Yep, and then the wire racks we screwed underneath just with screws. That's for our snacks, they were five bucks each. Mm -hmm. The, like I said, the projector was pre-bought. This is a two meter by two meter... Blind? No, no, long span shelf. Already had this last year, as you would have seen in the video. Being two meter by two meter, we just got that generic size blind from Bunnings. I think that was on sale for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Just some little bits of, bits of hardware to screw it up there. Very simple job. So that was 20. We got a few bits of cute little stuff like blankets for when she gets cold. Popcorn maker. Popcorn maker. That was eight bucks in the reject shop. We really wanted one of them cool ones with the wheels and stuff, but to keep it under budget. Space wise. Space wise. And it still looks pretty cool. It's a glass one that you put the salt in the top and the bottom. No, salt in the bottom. Salt in the top. Yeah, it melts down and it's just a microwave one. Yep. Everything in the B roll feature that you saw, uh, that camera's a non ink. 56 or other. Voigtlander inherited that. Also inherited the National Panasonic Radio. The Quadraphonic Record Player was inherited. That's only really for looks and then sometimes we get a bit of Johnny Cash going. But, oh, the bean bags? Yeah, they were from Kmart also. And those with the beans were about $100 also. Yeah, so 100 bucks with the beans. Are the beans the killer or the... Yeah, because you the need beans. three bags. Mm. So six bags of beans at six by 15 or 12 bucks or something. 12, yep. Yeah, so anyway, uh, we hope you enjoyed watching. Like I said, it's more of a novelty thing. We really love it. It's good fun out here. It's pretty soundproof out here, so we kind of, at the end of a long day, it's good to just ignore the doorbell and watch some shows. Total cost with the projector was 477. Obviously, without it, it was going to be 376. Yeah. Without the projector, it was going to be 376. So, yeah, we honestly think you can do it cheaper, but our main goal was to do like a shop near you kind of hack. A lot of the time, some of the stuff we got, we saw on like Marketplace or a few guys in America on Craigslist or whatever, that you could definitely get for cheaper. It wasn't a consistent practical test because you're really running your luck there. Yeah, I think we think you can do it cheaper if you were to get stuff secondhand or use stuff that you've already got. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like our stuff and we'll see you in the next vlog.